When I was a kid growing up, there weren't really many women involved in agriculture. Uh, I don't remember specific women having a farm by themselves or being the lead on a farm. But today that has all changed. It's enabled us to, to go ahead and, and take those chances and to, to be the main person in agriculture in a lot of operations throughout the state. It's empowering, it's important that women are able to have a voice and to be in charge of things. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to live in that era, but the one thing I am glad about is that enough women saw fit to work toward women having the right to vote, and enough men supported that so that it finally happened. And I can't imagine not being able to have my voice heard and to participate in government. I think back when those women got together and decided that it was time for them to be able to have opportunities um, that they hadn't had in the past. Being a homemaker is great, but there's more things out there that women wanted to do. To be able to um, go to a polling place and cast your vote as an individual person is really important. My father always said growing up, you can be anything you want to be you should vote because it's really important that everyone has that opportunity. As a woman, especially in agriculture, where it is very much still a do male dominated industry, um, that gives me hope and it gives me inspiration that uh, my voice is heard. I have a seat at the table, even if sometimes it may not look like it. I have no problem elbowing my way in there and uh, making sure that my opinions are counted. Being a woman in agriculture, I definitely feel minority, especially when I talk to those not in agriculture. They're really surprised when I say I'm a dairy farmer and they say, really? And I say, yeah, because I'm, I'm not what they're typically thinking of. Being in the industry, I don't feel like I'm at any disadvantage or anything like that. Well, I think back to the years when I was going into a lot of classrooms and doing a lot of lessons, and invariably the kids would, I would ask the kids what a farmer looks like, and I got that, well, he, wear, he wears bib overalls, and he wears big old boots, and he has a straw hat, and he chews on a piece of straw, and that was, that was class after class after class, and then I would go in in my business suit and say, guess what, I'm a farmer. <gasps> you can't be a farmer. I have a lot of respect for farmers, and I am happy to represent a lot of farmers in my district on the state board. I do have that pride, and it is doing the things that we do every day, making a living, but helping feed other people too.